here. Come on, friend, like always you and your water bottles. H6, G5 are the pawns. And King, my best guess is like to have a rook on an A8. Like F7, a little tactic there of King F7, Rook C7 check would leave white a pawn up. So you don't want that. But a bishop B4, this knight takes H6 check. Looks like Ivanchuk has picked up a pawn, and that means he has an excellent position with very good winning chances. Knight e5, knight e5. Now, can he take on b4? No, maybe he can take, and so he does. Material is equal again, but black's pawns are weaker than white, so still a lot of potential for a decisive result here. Knight e5 was an excellent move. And with his beatball still alive, so is Vladimir Kramnik's hope of winning this tournament. Not a lot of time, 15 seconds. And back to f6, I guess, rook to b1 to try to pick up that beatball. There he goes. Can you go rook a4? I don't know, it's probably knight c6, and you lose a beatball anyway. So not a great idea. If the bishop is to move, he does go rook a4, but knight c6 is coming. And white would once again be a, be a pawn up if I am not terribly mistaken. Knight d3, same idea as knight c6, just forcing the bishop on b4 to move and then taking on b5. Should have eight rook take b5. And this is excellent winning chances because. Black also has a weakness on e6. Sometimes these games with 4 and 3 are pretty drawish, but not with an isolated pawn on e6. Here, white should have all the trumps. Can go h4, try to force black to take, so you have a second weakness on h6 to work with. But he decides to activate his bishop instead, bishop e5. Vasily Ivanchuk, the legend from the Ukraine, with a very strong second day of this tournament. Bishop c3. Well, now it's not so much about individual moves anymore, it's more about coordinating the pieces, and then if White manages to do that, he has great winning chances, he can work with either h4 or f4 to determine the situation on the king side, and I believe, objectively, this should probably be winning. Of course, it doesn't mean much with 30 seconds against 20 seconds, it's going to take a while, let's go back to Grishuk for some of these seconds, while Vigonshuk is trying to convert his advantage. How's Grishuk doing? Zooming in, I reached a double rook ending. Grishuk has a pass pawn on e3. He can take on c4 now. It looks like Grishuk has managed to wrestle control away from Gelfand. Gives a couple of checks and exchanges rooks. Must be very confident that the combination of his pass e pawn and his pass h pawn does not allow white to take on e3 because he thinks he can win the pawn end game. Then just go king f6. And if you can't do that, then Gelfand's situation looks desperate. He has to try to go c5 with the pass pawn on the d file. Grishuk would just capture everything. Here, yeah, very accurate h5, not king take g6, because then c5 and the rook on e5 would be loose after t c5. But here you can just do it d6 and rook to d5. This should be winning for Grishuk. Is this the new rapid world, the new Blitz world champion? Will be the third title for Alexander Grishuk if he keeps his cool here. Rook c6, and then king takes g6 and looming with rook d4 check. King e3 and rook d5 should also be good enough. Rook g5, or king takes g6. And Boris Gelfand resigns. Grishuk wins. <laughs> now Kranik will have to win his game to wrestle away the title. It did not look like that at all. But you never know with Ivanchuk. He's lost on time before. Let's see what's going on here. The position they have is a double knight ending with an extra pawn for Ivanchuk, so no objective winning chances for Vladimir Kramnik unless something terrible happens to Vasily Ivanchuk. Alexander Grishuk is the new Blitz world champion. It looks like Kramnik has built a bit of a fortress or at least set up counterplay with his knights here. It's not easy for White to make progress. And I'm wondering if Kramnik would, well, he has to accept a draw here, but if he knows the tournament situation and if he's willing to gamble, unfortunately I can't see the clock, it's too bright over there. 
looks like Ivanchuk isn't making any progress and they're pretty much moving back and forth. Uh, we see Magnus Carlsen watching. He's surprisingly out of the race already. Well, that McCrumnick needs a miracle. can't really see what's going on, the board looks like White is only left with one pawn, which is not enough to create winning chances, let's also not forget. Yeah, everything is exchanged, you want to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> didn't seem happy about the end of that game, where early he had a winning position, and that, that means that Alexander Grishuk is a new Blitz World Champion, congratulations Alexander Grishuk.